West Indies came to Australia in 1975, 76. Um, it was the beginnings of that team that went on to dominate the world for, I don't know, 15 years or so. Um, fortunately for Australia, I don't think they realised how good they were at that point. They realised not long afterwards. They lost the series 5-1, which that's not a fair comparison of the abilities of the two teams. They came to Perth 1-0 down after losing badly in, um, in Brisbane. And Australia got a pretty decent total in Perth, 356 or something like that. Roy Fredericks played one of the most unbelievable innings I've ever seen. Uh, I remember talking to Roy early on. I, I played him. He made his debut in Australia in 68, 69. And I, I can't remember. I think it was in the Caribbean in 72, 3. We were sitting around having a drink afterwards. And Roy said to me, oh, Ian, he said, I, I don't, hundreds don't bother me. He said, I like to get a nice little quick 40. That's what really uh, I enjoy. Well, I wish he'd stuck to his word that day because he got 169 of 145 balls. That's, you know, we're talking a test match. We're not talking a one day game here. And he was out. I think the West Indies were only about 250 when he got out. It was quite amazing. But the other thing that will always stay in my mind till the day I die, the people in Perth I don't think are great, they're not very knowledgeable on the game of cricket. And, you know, they, unless it's a Western Australian player doing it, they're not very interested in what's going on. And suddenly, you know, we're getting slapped around everywhere. I was at first slip, Greg was at second slip, Greg was captaining the side. And Roy smashed another one for four, you see, and there was this just smattering of applause, you see, and I thought, oh, what's that all about? And I looked over at the board and I saw 200. So I thought, Jesus, that's come up quick. So then I looked over at the bottom right-hand corner of the Wacker scoreboard where the number of overs are, and it was the 20th over. <laughs> OK, there are eight ball overs, but here we are in a test match and they've scored at 10 runs per over. It was, I just said to Greg, I said, have you had a look at the number of overs? And he said, mate, I'm not going to. He said, it's all right for you. You're not the captain of this. Oh, it was an amazing knock. I mean, Roy Fredericks threw sort of backward point to, you know, about cover. Through that area, he used to just delight in hitting, smashing balls through that area. I remember he got 100 in each innings against us in Guyana, playing for Guyana, his, uh, you know, his, his provincial team, in 72-3. And it's like a bowling green, the, the border ground, not very big, but it's sort of rectangular. And I remember I had two-third men at one stage for Roy Fredericks. I had one, it, because it went into a corner like that, so I had one to protect that part and one to protect that part, you see. And he still kept hitting fours every other ball. In the end, I thought, I'm wasting one fielder down there. With him. So I tried to put him somewhere else. But Roy Fredericks in that area on the offside, boy, he was, uh, you know, he was amazing. And you know, he also had that very flamboyant uh, wrist cock. But that day, Fredo, it just didn't matter where you bowled, Fredo smashed it. And... and he was one of, he's one of those rare players. I think the quicker they came, the better he liked it. He, he just loved pace bowling. Wasn't such a great player of spin bowling, but boy, the quicker you bowled, the, the harder he hit him. And that day in Perth, he hit him hard regularly. <laughs>